Back in the 60s, a lot of Catholics, well, you, you remember the 60s now. I was in high school and college in the 60s. And the 60s was the I gotta be free, I gotta be me generation. Right? The 60s was, you know, Woodstock, um, shaking off the shackles of convention, uh, rebellion. And this carried all over into the church, too. I was, I remember preaching in Winnipeg, Canada, a few years back. And it just happened to be the 33rd anniversary of Humana Vitae, and also the 33rd anniversary of the Winnipeg Statement, which I didn't remember what, what that was when I landed, uh, because um, for the first time in my life, I, I got treated as though I were a terrorist in Winnipeg. I think they thought I was a drug smuggler or something. And um, anyway, by the time I got to the conference, there was a bishop in the conference room and uh, he was one of the original bishops, and I said, oh, I can't believe how much trouble I've had getting here. He said, well, you know where you are, don't you? I said, yeah, Winnipeg. He said, well, you know what that means, don't you? No. Nope. Uh, and then he reminded me, this is the 33rd anniversary of Humana Vitae, the 33rd anniversary of the Winnipeg Statement. That's where the vast majority of Canadian bishops signed a statement that came to be known as the Winnipeg Statement which basically said Paul VI had erred in his encyclical, Humana Vitae, on the teaching on human life, about artificial contraception and abortion and so forth. A vast majority of the Canadian bishops signed this. In writing, they put their names. No, we repudiate. We reject the teaching of the Pope. And I was there for the 33rd anniversary. This bishop was one of five bishops who didn't sign that. And he'd been at the Vatican for some time. And he wrote a letter. This was just a couple years ago. On the 33rd anniversary, he wrote a letter to the bishop. And he asked them, he said, brothers, on this great occasion, why don't we use this to make a statement to the faithful that we, we made a mistake 33 years ago? Made a mistake. Hey, to err is human. You know, we make mistakes. That can happen. So let's set it straight now. Let's just say, hey, Paul VI was right. Matter of fact, he was prophetic in writing his encyclical on human life. They said no. They wouldn't do it. Good leadership is a blessing beyond calculation, and bad leadership is a curse. We get, very frequently, we get what we deserve. People clamored back in the 60s, uh, don't tell us what to do, remember, got to be free, got to be, be me. Don't tell us what to do. Uh, keep the Pope out of our bedroom, they used to say. That, that was the battle cry. Watch what you ask for. Because what you might get is teachers who tickle your ears. What you might get is one of the worst curses you can imagine. A teacher who will confirm you in your sins. Can you imagine anything worse than that? Someone in teaching authority who would confirm you in your sins. Imagine a man up to his neck in quicksand and through some kind of evil alchemy you change the quicksand into concrete making it impossible for him to get out. A leader who will confirm you in sin is doing the devil's work, period, exclamation.